What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Glacier Rebirth, where today I'll be showcasing the nuclear boom boom cycle. So how this works? First, uh, gotta team yourself to the Red Wolves, and you need to have access to commands. Now, this is quite easy. So to set off the nuclear warhead, if I actually real quickly show you, um, if you go to nuclear shelter and give yourself an X key card, you know, the old strategy of setting off the warhead, like demonstrated in the old video. That does not work as well anymore. I'm gonna lower this so that way you can hear me. So yeah, I can open this. All good and all until I try to scan it. Wrong key card. Doesn't even want to accept it. So that's not what you do anymore. Instead, what you do now is let me actually lower this. What you do now to set off the nuclear warhead is you do a little bit of a, a go to um, main encampment. You have to cap three sites: main encampment. A um, EA and FOB to make things easy. N um, I can't spend neutral cap on sets it to 100 and instead of being 200 for it registers fully capped, it only needs to be 150. And since it's already at 100, you only need to cap at 50 site points. So, yeah, for ME, there's two cap zones one of them is weather station, the other one's the radio tower. Does not matter which one it is as long as you get it to uh, 150, which I'll show you what that looks like. And I'll speed everything else up because it's really boring to watch someone sit in a room for quite some time. So. All I have to do. This is weather station. You can look at the top. I'm actually going to. So this is weather station. That's where you have to go inside. You go inside here by going to the second floor. Yep, the second floor because on the first floor there's the gym. Then here it is, the weather station. The absolute beauty of weather station. The second cap zone is over here, which is the radio tower. We have the point at the top, not really easy to see, but it says the points. The bottom bar is the cap zone itself, and the top bar is the site. It's because you have to fully cap without having neutral cap on, you need um, to, you need 200 per site points, and each cap zone is 100. That's how you know it's fully capped. Next up, entity area. Unfortunately, entity area alarms are currently scuffed because peak meta method development. They used to work, now they're not. So the only thing that really works at EA is the red lights. Now you can go to go to EA lab because the, the two cap zones are laboratory, which is on floor zero. Uh, sorry, this is actually offices, but that's cap zone one, which is um, obtained. So this is upper. You go to the bunker. You go to the bunker, two, 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 and that's tram access. But you go over here, and then to this door at the end. That's the offices. Instead, so the second cap zone is the um, what you may call it. It's the good old famous the um, control room, which you go to by going to the green floor, which I probably can't go here because it's not loaded. But then you go to hallway four, and it's at, oh never mind, it loaded. All right, you go to then uh, hallway four. At the very end, shoot on the door if it's still closed. To the stairwell. And then over here is the control room. This is the other cap zone. So, yeah. Our EA is fully capped because you heard the alarm sound. I'm sorry, the announcement sound. But the alarm did not go off. Next up is FOB. Um, the two cap zones are the defense room where the SAM, the SAM missile thing mob is. This is the briefing room, also known as like, what I call the control room. So yeah, uh, to go to the defense room, you have to go up here, up here, go up these stairs, and go around the corner, go up here, and that's the room. Thank you. I really appreciate it. There we go. And here we go. Second cap zone, if we go all the way outside, so this is the entirety of FOB. The second cap zone are these silos over here. This like general area is the cap zone. Now, if you're like a red wolf and want to cap this place for real, what you would do is uh, access it. This is the entrance. Go through here. That's the defense room, firing range. Then go up the stairwell, past the corner, obviously, and look at that stack RBLX. There we go. That this is it. All right. Here's what I like to do to quickly see um, the status. Nuclear shelter lift, jump down. So you can tell because 
the lights turned red. So that means the nuclear warhead went off. Now I'm gonna shut up so you can listen to this really good music. After a little bit of the music playing, the announcement starts and the timer starts. From there, every minute, the announcer announces the time remaining, and the timer also appears on your watch and all screens. It takes a tad bit before it actually starts. Lights are also slowly getting redder, if, in case you cannot tell. There we go. Once it ends, the timer starts. Nuclear warhead impact estimated at T minus eleven minutes. There we go. This the right now is playing is the old nuke music. It is called Nuke, made by Mad Table Index. After this is over, which takes about six minutes, and uh, when there's about five minutes remaining, there's gonna be Nuke Two or Nuke II, which is two in Roman numerals, also by Meta Table Index. So it plays both of the nuke songs. You can also notice it appears in the bottom right of your watch. That way you can like quickly tell. However, all of your stats, coordinates, and height, that's um, gone, sacrificed. So it's kind of inconvenient when you're flying a vehicle, but we have GPS now, so. You can do that every minute. You can also see that the nuke at the top is slowly moving towards us. The current song that's playing the nuke is like a slow piano, nice and relaxing, up to like certain parts. And a nuke two is the exact opposite. It's kind of like the combat music, like Semper Primus or Redacted. So, you'll see. Okay, hear me out. Why does the announcement sound sound like someone's hitting a teacup?
This is gonna take a while. Uh, two days ago, there was an on-site nuclear warhead. Uh, right about this time, I got disconnected and had to rejoin the main server and uh, see if I could make it on time. Spoiler, I didn't. So, yeah. So, at any moment now, the nuke one, also known as just nuke, will end like the song. You might also notice that instead of saying like NS announcement, the announcement says global because this is played at all sites. The music is also global. That's the end of the nuke song. Nuke 2 and I'll begin. And this thing on the screens that shows in all screens, especially like the schedule screens, the ones that like usually say the time and you can like be like mining or free time, they're all around the sites, you know. So that's pretty much what this is showed on all of them. And instead of saying the site name, it just says nuclear warhead inbound. So they're all gonna look like this. Any screen you find. This is a reminder that there is a nuclear warhead and No voice line. The five minute voice line is a reminder, obviously. Except, um, Dev's a little oopsie poopsie and it says no voice line, so. Peak. This music is kind of good. I like it. Yeah, at this time, if you're not here already, or like you're not going right now, you're kind of cooked, so. And uh, if you're driving, you're absolutely cooked. You are not making it in time. Before the elevator comes up and comes back down, you enter the shelter. Good as dead. Two minutes. Nuclear warhead impact estimated at T minus two 
minutes. They should definitely like make them show up on radio. That would be cool. seconds. Are we cooked? Alright. So five, four, three, two, one, zero. Takes a little bit, give it a second. Any moment now. Oh, okay then. Oh, oh, oh! That is not my headlamp, that's the nuke. Alright, let's go see the aftermath. This is the aftermath, it's called really heavy fog. That can, um, oh, never mind, I thought it can clear it. I stand corrected, this is unclearable fog. I also cannot go into first person, never mind, I can. Okay, the game doesn't like me, that's cool. So yeah, that's pretty much all that there is. Like, I can't even see my own little bird. I don't know if we took off because that's taking up the screen. I think we took off. See if I do that. Yeah, okay, we did. But yeah. The fog slowly clears until it eventually it's all over. And, um, like nothing happened. Also, the power is still on, unlike SCP Roleplay. Everything seems to be fine, guys. It's just really heavy fog that kills you. You know the funniest thing? So this door that protects you from the nuclear blast. Um. Never mind. I can't shoot. Okay then. Well, you can shoot it down, alright? You get it. Actually, let me try that. Ah. But yeah, you can pretty much shoot down the door. Okay, the game just does not like me. Hear that? It's my mouse. Left click. This aftermath music hits hard. Why is it up there? Ah, oh, there it is. The la the ladder. Look at even the elevator lights are red. That's funny.
I remember correctly, that is it. So. I'm just waiting for like the fog to clear and my to me for getting my watch back. Thank you very much, Glacier. Oh, there we go. Easy as pie. So yeah, that's um, that's the that's the new cool head for ya. Really intense for um, my personal opinion. Uh, literally nothing. Cool. It has been exactly hold on, exactly 24 minutes and 30 seconds. And yeah. I'm going to make this way shorter because I do not want you guys to watch me sit in a cap zone for too long. But yeah, look, good as new, like nothing ever happened. Alright, have fun.